Yo, what is up, Iconic Hoops? We got another player analysis, player type, player types that I want on my squad series video. Second, go check out Devin Booker. I did a couple a week ago or so. Today we got Pascal Siakam all around wing. This is the player type I build my squad around and Siakam fits the bill. We're gonna see why statistically with highlights and everything else. Getting to the stats, Pascal Siakam has just improved every year from 16, 17 at 4.2 points a game up to 23.6, improving every year significantly. If you won most improved player this year, I wouldn't even be surprised. They're just not going to give him to it twice. Look at his assist rate. I mean, getting better every year. I feel like if that gets up to 20% assist rate, assist percentage, uh, and he just is able to make more plays for others, that's the last step in his game because he can get to the rim, he can finish, he's aggressive, he can post, turn around, jump shot. Defensively, he's extremely long and efficient scorer, 56%. Last year, 63 on lower usage, up the usage to a superstar level. Star level, let's see if he gets the superstar, but I don't see why not. Um, he has all the statistical package if he elevates his teammates with it. Sky's the limit. Right here we see his turnaround J's off the post. He either gets into position by dribbling his guy down, like we're gonna see right here, posting up Royce O'Neal, getting the shoulder in, turning around, jump shot, fade, very clean. If he does this consistently in the playoffs, it's a move that you don't need a lot of other players to pull off, which is crucial in playoff moments. Here, just breaks his guy down, cross, cross, gets to the rim, finishes soft touch with the right hand, and. He can go either way, we'll see his spin move, we'll see his other finishes at the rim because he uses his length and his movement. It's cross, face up, step back, <laughs> jumper in his face, Miles Turner, nothing you can do there. Now he's going to get it, go to the right, drive right, fake, uh, lefty hook, it's just he has so many tools in the bag <laughs> that he can just go to. Um, it's really fun to watch and he's just extremely athletic and honestly we're gonna get to it but his passing sometimes it could be better if his teammates just made the shots but we'll get there let's hit Pascal and transition another one of his strengths just getting all the way to the rim long strides soft touch with the floater again running can finish the alley-oop provides that vertical spacing athletic like I said just Going for the steal here, again, athleticism, length, gets the open dunk, free two points, thank you very much, and Pascal just does this. He is just strong, he's always hustling, which is crucial, Nick Nurse and the Toronto guys always doing what is needed, which I love watching right here, we see his spin move. His spin move has become famous at this point, we're seeing a lot of different types of spin moves too, Jason Tatum has a nasty one, but... John ja Morant. Um, anyway, back to Siakam and his spin move and his finishing at the rim and his control with the speed through the contact. Doing anything you need on offense? Really? Because we're going to see him ball handling in the pick and roll. We just saw him transition. We saw him in the post, step back, fade, turn around, Jay. The consistency is all that needs to be there, but the, the tools are there. That, and, and a lot of people don't have it. And this is developing right here. It didn't really get to his jump shot, but he's shooting 36% on a decent amount of attempts per game. Check back on the stat card for that one. Here he's pulling up. This wasn't in his repertoire last year because he didn't need to do it. He kind of started, but this year it's really, really taken off. Just pulling up off the screen. Again, a crucial skill. His jump shot could be a little smoother. It's a little, you know, he needs to get set. There's no... There's not a lot of versatility to his three-pointer, but I don't think he can't develop that with the right footwork and control. He's gotten better at everything else. Um, just like right here. I mean, he's getting the double. He's already pulling the double, and pulling the double is such a crucial part of opening up everything else for your team. Because once that double comes, then you kick it out. Open guy, one swing, swing, open shot in the corner right here. Pull the double and the triple. Gets it to the weak side to McCaw. Finds the shooter up top. And 
it's all because of Siakam's pull right here. Again, he's gonna get doubled. The, the screen and roll confusion is huge. Again, finds McCaw, pops it out to OG, knocks it, knocks it down or doesn't knock it down. It doesn't matter. We're talking about what Pascal Siakam's impact is on the court and he gets these shots. Getting the shots is all you can do if it's not making a play for yourself. And we, all, we already saw that he can do that too. Again, weak side corner skip pass. Again, doesn't lead to an open shot, but being able to make that pass is big time. Especially when you get doubled right here, even tougher, right to McCaw. Takes the shot, in and out. You get unlucky, but that assist percentage being slightly lower could be explained by a lot of these. Um, he also does need to improve it. I mean, I'm not saying he's perfect. He's not LeBron magic out there, but he wasn't any of the things he's doing right now two years ago, and I don't see why he can't improve and get there right here, the pocket pass. He has it. Like, once you see the flashes, once you see that he makes these reads and makes these passes, all he needs to do is do it more often, get better and practice reading those situations even earlier. But he's he's doing it. So Siakam, exactly the type of guy I want on my team, does it on both ends, hustle, plays for the right reasons. If Go listen to his... Uh, podcast with Zach Lowe on the low post he's great character everything I would want um in a player honestly if I'm building a team and yeah you can see I'm a huge Pascal Siakam fan and I hope you are too hopefully you're a fan of this video appreciate y'all listening and checking this stuff out check out the Devin Booker analysis and maybe a game notes whatever I have recommended right here Hit us with a subscribe and a like. Appreciate you and catch you next time.